What up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the table where everybody eat. Y'all know what to do. Hit that like button for your boy. And if it's your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you'll miss out on the plays and updates we bring to you guys each and every day in the market. Now today we covering Quantum SI Incorporated, ticker symbol QSI, which closed at $1.50 on September 19, 2025. It was down 1.96% on the day. So we could kind of say that thing was flat, but that's cool and all as this thing had recovered from them lows of, I believe, like 98 cents for us in the Discord, roughly $1.14, and just made this reversal or appears to have made that reversal and trended back to the upside. Now, if you guys are familiar with the channel or the table where everybody eats, y'all know in that last video, I was concerned or curious if we had bottomed out on Quantum SI Incorporated and was about to see some type of reversal pattern as everything was lining up from the MACD to the 50 SMA price action. If I pulled up the RSI, everything was lining up showing us that it was now time to get into the play, which I learned in my Discord community, everybody eats, link will be below in the description depending on the top of the chat. I believe it was like around the beginning of the month on Quantum SI. And as you see, we was talking about Rigetti for show for show. Rigetti had a very clean setup. If you look at this chart right here, and I told one of my members over there in the Discord when they asked about Rigetti, that this here was one of the cleanest setups outside of IONQ. Yeah, I was seeing IONQ went stupid, QUBT. It, it actually caught up to the, to the party and uh, it did its thing. But IONQ and RGTI, I mean, them things there had a nice, massive run, man. So salute to y'all that made money on any of the quantum stocks. Put a one in the chat if you made money on any of the quantum stocks. Back to QSI, which is in the quantum sector in regards to how they do things. I told the Discord this could be a solid swing as me and the disciples already been accumulating QSI. I actually put this in the general chat section which I'll have a link below for you guys. I'll probably put 50 free slots if you guys want to come and sit at the table where everybody eat. You won't get any of the plays. However, you can come up, up in there, politic with us, see what we're talking about here and there, things of that nature. So I'll go ahead and put a link in the comment section and in the description below. Matter of fact, not in the comment section. I'll put it in the description below if you guys want to come and sit at the table where everybody eat. And like I said, everything was lining up from the 50 SMA to the MACD. And you can see right here on this chart when we were trading around a dollar and 15 cent and we got back above that golden zone, I was paying attention to if and how we close above that 50 SMA on this day. And when we get to the chart and look at the levels, you guys will see everything, how it panned out and turned out, I mean, well, magnificent on Quantum SI Incorporated. So now if we go over to the channel, everybody eating, I believe we had called out a QSI January 16th, 2026, QSI right here. Boom. QSI dollar five calls January 16th, 2026, up 118% since we got in. So again, link is below if you guys want to join and sit at the table where everybody eat. And remember, they only got 50 slots for the free joint where you guys can sit at the general chat table with us and you could just politic with us and we looking at, make your own chart requests, all that good stuff, man. But here we are on the daily chart, and as you can see on the daily chart, this is that area we was in when we reclaimed that, that golden zone, somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, somewhere around here, around September 9th. So this is that area right here where I alerted the Discord and let them know that this thing was looking nice and setting up beautiful for a swing. Like I say, everything was lining up. And what I'm seeing and what I'm looking at at face value here, so we can go ahead and get out of here, face value, the 50 SMA is now beginning to curl upward and do something of this form right here. So I do like that. So that means we could possibly pull back to come retest that 50 SMA or that dollar 38 zone. Not saying that will happen because we also are holding up right here above the sniper fair value gap. So with us holding this area, if we maintain that dollar, I believe it's like a dollar 46, a dollar 48, somewhere around there. If we continue to maintain that area and then eventually break above a dollar 56 or close above a dollar 56 and then get above a dollar 62. That's where we probably could see continuation into this zone right about here. But going down to the four hour time frame, matter of fact, let's go to the two hour time frame. Coming to the two hour time frame, we see this beautiful setup we had on QSI with the 50 SMA starting to respect this area right about here. It actually respected the golden zone fairly nice. It did not break beneath it. It also respected price action. As you see for a couple of days here, price action kept rejecting on that 50 SMA. 
We reclaimed it momentarily, came back down to this golden zone around this dollar eight cents, which if you guys had seen the prior videos on QSI, you guys had already had these levels, so y'all was prepared. So therefore, also, if you don't join the Discord, subscribe to the channel so that way you don't miss out on these plays before they move up to the upside. We, so we fell beneath that 50 SMA, held the golden zone, reclaimed the 50 SMA, and then from there, we have not seen the 50 SMA for a while on this two hour time frame, which could provide an opportunity for anybody who has not got in. I'm not saying it's gonna come back to this 122 zone right here. That would be a sweet spot for anybody that hasn't gotten in, anybody that already took profits for a rinse and repeat if we did get that. Cause the MACD also is curling down. So it does look like QSI need a breather from this massive candle we got right here on a two hour time frame. Also, we are rejecting this range right here. I believe it's between like $1.60 and $1.80. Uh, my, my ultimate price target in the short term that I'm looking for on QSI is to basically get a retest of 212. And then once we break over 212 and close above 212, then I would consider adding more shares or getting some more legs on like um, future data call options. But sticking with price action, we could come back down to this 50 SMA on the two hour time frame. Now, what I do see also is how we rejected on this dollar 56. That was a kind of a hard rejection again with the MACD curling downward. So if we cannot hold this area right here on that dollar 46, I'll be concerned and maybe really stay above a dollar 38. We lose a dollar 38. That's where that dollar 22, if not this slight gap we got right here around, what is this? A uh, dollar 26. We could pull back as low as a dollar twenty-six to fill that gap, which actually the gap is not a dollar, it's more like a dollar twenty-eight. So I'm not throwing mad numbers, but anywho, we like to be prepared and not surprised. We like to react and not predict. Or we at the table where everybody eats. So with that fifteen-minute candle looking in that aspect, that is concerning for me. Going to the one hour, about the same thing. So you know what? Let's go ahead and go to the thirty. But before we go to the thirty. If that 50 SMA continues higher real quick, MACD didn't already cross that signal line, with the, which is the orange one, that histogram. So the MACD already didn't cross that. So that is also showing me that we could be pulling back down just to get some healthy price action, man, because this this right here is insane. We got this massive candle right here. Forgot what it's called, it's like some Harambe candle or whatever. So we got that massive candle there. We got another decent size one right here, which actually got above that 156 but it closed beneath it and we also rejected at that area right there so this is still showing me that the macd could possibly come down lower and we could come to this form get some more price action i typically like to see in my fair value gaps i like to see some price action or accumulation in that zone before we go through it like how right here we went up we came down and held up on the top of it but we never came back inside so if we were to come into this area and hold that area, I wouldn't be concerned. If, if anybody got any shares right now on QSI, again, I wouldn't be concerned unless we really broke beneath. I wouldn't really say the 50 SMA on the one hour. It's more so if we fell beneath the 50 SMA on what the time frame was we was on, on the two hour, which would be below this 122 zone. So going down to the 30 minute, 30 minutes basically the same. Now we do see that this 50 SMA has been an area of support a number of times. When we got above it right here, boom. And then right here, the 50 SMA, and we actually bounced up the golden zone. So I do like that right there. And then also one more time, right here, we expected the 50 SMA, which is also around another pivotal area, which is around that dollar 26 zone that I was talking about. But if the 50 SMA acts as a form of support once again, that brings us around that dollar 42 zone, which is again that zone that I would like to see some type of price action and some accumulation in that area. Now, this is where it gets concerning for me on the lower time frame, but also for us with us swinging this thing, already taking profits, already looking good in our call options. This 15 minute chart is concerning how we are now making lower highs. We got a lower high here, lower high there, lower high basically right here. I mean, actually it's just a failed break back above that 156. We still haven't made a lower low yet. So if we were to breach that 146 and lose that area, let's just say in the sense of come down, lose it, go up, reject, and then come down like this, even come up again. Now we are not only making lower highs, but we will be making lower lows as this here would be a low. And then this here would be another lower low. 
So that would not look good if you ask me on this lower time frame. Also, the MACD is weak. The momentum has died. But again, like I said, on the prior time frames or the higher time frames, pulling back, we need this for a healthy price action because then once we come here, that could be the point where we end up trending our way back up to the upside. So that's what I have for you guys on QSI, Quantum SI Incorporated. Be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Also, only got 50 free slots. For the Discord, you can sit the table where everybody eat. Mind you, that's limited access, so you won't get the alerts or the option plays. But you can come over there and politic with us, man. So thank you. Take care. We out.